Welcome to the Lumerical how-to video. In this video, we are going to learn about the common workflow and the basics of a layout editor in FTTD solutions and mode solutions. There are four distinctive optical servers in these two products, 2D, 3D, finite difference time domain server, finite difference eigenmode server, 2.5D variational FTTD server, and eigenmode expansion server. Each server is different, but they also share some common workflow, which can be summarized as follows. Create structures, set simulation parameters, define sources and monitors, check simulation, run simulation, and finally analyze results. I will go through each server in much detail in the upcoming videos. But here's a brief demonstration of uh, how to use the layout editor for each step of the workflow in FTTD solutions. First, create structures. You can select basic shapes from this list. Complex structures can be inserted from the object library. Various import options are also available. Right-click on the structure and you can edit its geometry and material. Next, define simulation region and set mesh and boundary conditions. And add a source, specify propagation properties and the wavelength range. Blue arrow corresponds to polarization direction. Pink arrow indicates the propagation direction. Then add monitor. Here, I made the source and monitor a bit bigger than the simulation region. Those regions outside will be automatically truncated during simulation. Next, you can specify the resources to be used for simulation. In this case, I'm using four processes. Next, uh, check the material properties. Make sure the fitting is good. And check the simulation summary and memory requirement. Then, click Run. When the simulation finishes, you will notice a marker appearing at the corner of monitor icons, which means the results are available for the object. You can right-click it and visualize the results. Here are some tips for effective use of a layout editor. The size and position of objects can be changed by right-clicking the object in the object tree and editing the geometry property. However, you can also use a click and drag action in the viewports to coarsely adjust the position and size. For zooming, you can use a scroll wheel on your mouse as well as this button. You can also select the object you want and fit them in the viewport using this zoom fit button. Viewports can be undocked and docked again by double clicking here. If you lose any viewports by mistake, you can get them back by going to View and Windows. The visibility of toolbars and windows can be controlled by right-clicking your mouse on this area. You can enable or disable simulation objects by right-clicking on them and selecting Enable or Disable. Disable the simulation objects will remain in the object tree and can be re-enabled, but they will have no effect on the simulation. You can move the objects using arrows. These two will move the objects up and down, and these two will move them in and out of group. Structures can also be moved between mode solutions and FTTD solutions by copy and paste or Ctrl C and Ctrl V. For further details on the layout editor, please visit the following link on our website. If you have any technical questions, please contact us at support at lumerical.com. You can also download any of our products for free 30-day trial. Thank you for watching.